abuse to the prophet, India ruling party lawmaker arrested for insults. A member of India's ruling BJP party was arrested on August 23rd and is charged with, quote, habitually delivering provocative and inflammatory speeches. Thakur Raja Singh, a member of the Telangana Legislative Assembly, or an MLA, since 2014, was arrested as thousands of Muslims went into the streets to protest one of his speeches against the Prophet Muhammad. Two weeks before Singh's arrest, the MLA threatened to burn down the venue of comedian Munawar Faruqi's show in Hyderabad. Faruqi is a Muslim comedian accused of making fun of Hindu gods. Although, you know, he's accused of blasphemy. Oh, wait, no, I'm going to get into that. Okay. Singh posted a video on social media threatening to beat Faruqi and throw him out of Telangana. Quote, none can stop us. This is a challenge, Singh declared. Earlier this year, Faruqi was arrested and charged with blasphemy, despite lack of evidence. No, not content with his threats to Faruqi, Singh released another video with quote-unquote derogatory comments against Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. Singh was arrested but was released the same day, basically citing a technicality or like an error. Singh explained that his video was targeted solely at Faruqi and was not targeted at any religious community. However, the BJP is not taking any chances on Singh's charge statements. Before his arrest, Modi's party suspended Singh over his quote-unquote insults. Wait, I don't get so it. One, I'm confused. You, can you do a break? So down? one thing I wanted to talk about. So, uh, okay. So <laughs> this guy who was a lawmaker until recently, our BJ, BJP lawmaker, he... So Munwai Faruqi, who we are familiar with on this channel, if you don't know about him, like just go look it up on our channel. Um, he was going to have a comedy show in Hyderabad, okay? And this representative, okay, was like, "We're going to go burn down the venue if he performs." Because so that guy, a, that guy, this guy, yeah. So that guy was blaspheming against, like, accused of blaspheming against Hindu gods, right? And there's no evidence that he did, yeah. Okay, so this log maker said that we're gonna go burn down the venue. Okay, this this guy is Hendrix. Okay, and then what happened? So, um, and basically saying no one can stop us. Blah blah blah. This person is in the government. This is so crazy. Um, yeah. so then apparently that wasn't far enough, and he's accused of putting out a video in response to this, you know, protesting this comedy show that insulted the Prophet Muhammad or Islam in some way. Now, here is a huge frustration I have with Indian media. I cannot find a record anywhere of what he said against the Prophet Muhammad. I don't know what his statements were. And I do not trust how these statements were described based on how Nupur Sharma's statements were described. How it was an insult, derogatory, blah, blah, blah. When we pointed out time and time again, the Nupur Sharma's supposedly blasphemous comments are literally just Islamic canon, right? Yeah, yeah. again, we don't support Nupur Sharma or this guy, okay? But they're, they're like, they're bigots, okay? But their comments were just described, like Nupur Sharma's at least comments were describing what Muslims believe Islam themselves. Islam is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So... so Based on how the media has characterized what Nupur Sharma said extremely inaccurately, like, I don't actually know what this guy said, because most Indian media that I have found when looking into this straight up say, like, we will not be publishing what his comments are. Maybe because they think they might have some sort of, li they might face liability themselves, or they might, I don't know, but they don't publish it. So I cannot actually make an assessment on what his statements were. Was it blasphemous? Was it actually derogatory? Maybe he was just saying something that actually is an Islamic scripture, but I, the media doesn't freaking tell me, so I can't make a judgment, okay? But he comes back and defends himself by saying, this isn't about Islam, this is just supposed to be against this comedian, yada yada. But the information isn't even put out there in English for me to make an informed decision myself, which is extremely frustrating. All of that being said, Regardless, this politician is straight up a horrible person that I do not understand how he is even allowed to be a politician, 
because he's had over 50 FIRs, aka police reports, filed against him over the past few decades. I literally found articles where they were counting all of the laws he has broken, like his rap sheet, and um, including rioting and burning down police cars. Like going and attacking, assaulting police offices, buildings, property, etc. For and he doesn't not get in trouble for that. Do Hindu festival like processions. And he doesn't get what happens to him when he does these things. Like he just seems like basically either these charges are still being investigated or the charges get dropped. In nearly every case. Mm. But, but at this point. The BJP mm -hmm. is so freaking traumatized by what happened to them over Rupert Sharma that yeah. they just throw out these people like they're nothing, which I think is like that itself needs to be unpacked. So two things here, okay? First of all, it seems like he this man has been calling out for violence and burning down stuff. And the thing that he's getting in trouble for is his comment over Muhammad rather than all this other stuff that he's been doing. Which shows you where, like, is that accurate? Because it seemed like apparently the, the officials care more about his comments over the prophet. Okay, than all so this he other has he has faced charges of inciting communal violence, basically mm -hmm. a lot of blasphemy charges before, but not. Okay, here's what frustrates me about India's penal code: is that the penal code that is against blasphemy is the same one that is for inciting violence. So he has been charged under the exact same areas of the penal code that we have faced FIRs for, right? Oh but yeah, like, for people who don't know me, the difference between us and them could not be more extreme, right? Because we're, yeah, we're yeah. just doing blasphemy. He's actually advocating for violence, but based on the definition of the penal code, they're the same. Okay, for people who don't know, me and Susanna, like us two right here, we're also being <laughs> charged in India based on the same law. So, okay, we're in the same camp as this guy. Oh, so Which is like uh, such Satya an insult. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, okay, so wait, but I want to I want to unpack something real quick. So there are many okay. times where he has gotten in trouble for his speeches that do incite violence. Like, I was reading about this guy's history. He literally, I don't know how I can say this for um, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, this is, I am reporting the opinions of someone else who was a horrific person for the sake of educating our audience, okay? This person has said that Rohingya Muslim refugees should be, um, let's say, gifted a bullet in the head. Oh, no. What? Yes, if, he is okay. hardcore. How is he pro. not in, How is he still a politician? Exactly. Okay. But it, it took this to get him kicked out of the party. Yeah, that's this what I'm what saying. Kicked out of the party. Like you, like look at even in India, which the, which the, it's a Hindu country. Okay, it's not an Islamic country. Okay, so it's mostly a Hindu country. It's supposed to be a secular country, but it's mostly a Hindu country right now. Um the religious privilege is so high that you as a politician get in trouble more for saying something that might be seen as an insult to prophet muhammad than saying that muslim refugees need to be shot okay i get i want to say it for youtube right like that's what gets you in trouble with the bjp unbelievable also by the way i think given how anti-muslim a lot of hindutva are the constant sensitivity of the bgp over anti-islamic comments is going to is starting a major drift between the hindu nationalists you know what i mean oh yeah and a lot of, a lot of hindu extremists think like this is not their party anymore like why are all these why are all these people who are speaking the truth about islam being punished by the bgp is this not our Hindu nationalist or like, the quote unquote truth about Muslims and how the country needs to deal with them in their consumption. Yeah. Why are they being punished for it? I kind of think of it as how, like, after the January 6th attack in America, like the hardcore Trumper Republicans were like, We are leaving the GOP because the GOP isn't hardcore enough. Like, we there was like kind of a schism, and I don't know how much that schism has lasted, but kind of like 
the the hard line is like no you're not extreme enough so we're gonna yeah. like they you know threaten to leave and form their own party or something it's crazy it's so crazy yeah by the way does anyone in the live chat know what this guy actually said what did he actually say against the is this it i don't know if this is the comment i have a whole bunch of comments highlighted that i want to read but is this it in the video he referred to muhammad as one of ours 52 year old lord i don't know if this is it okay if he did that how is that offensive how is that offensive um, to the prophet muhammad what the I don't hell know the if standards this... are so messed up here the standards are so messed like... up and it just seems so rotted to the core yeah, I don't know if, they, if that's it. I don't like we. I don't even know if that's what Satya meant. But here, let's read some other comments that I highlight. Satya said, "I don't like Singh a bit, but I'm happy the left term termed Sharma a bigot without proof. She was helpless. Finally, they met a bigot they could do nothing about." Okay, I do think she. I do think Sharma like is a bigot though. I think there is plenty of proof. Not for her. Not for her comments against the Prophet Muhammad. I think there's plenty of proof besides that. Um, and then, yeah, I, no, I think yeah. ultimately what happened to her was unfair. No, and I do was, have to say, like, when there were, they, you know, like, she, yeah, doesn't, okay. she doesn't deserve to go into hiding. She doesn't deserve yes. to fear for the yeah. lives of everyone okay. close she, to her. She, she should have only been let go be yeah. with RAPE. With the law. Oh, she doesn't deserve all the threats and also any legal backlash. She should have just been fired. That's all she deserved. She, she shouldn't be arrested. Fired. She no. shouldn't face double jeopardy by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court was completely wrong about what they said to her. Yes. About her. Um, Oxymoron is saying Faruqi was being a bigot when he tried to whitewash the 2002 uh, Jugrat burning of Hindus in a train, but the BJP man accused is a bigger bigot. Yeah. Like, can we can we uh, can we just agree to like not whitewash like crimes against humanity? <laughs> God damn <Yeah>. it! <laughs> can we just do that? Can we just agree? Innocent on that? civilians don't deserve to be slaughtered for collective punishment. God damn it! Did you um, say Ju Jugrat again or Gujarat? I don't know how to say it. I've given up. I will permanently say it wrong, and everyone in India will roast me and act like I don't know what I'm talking about because I can't freaking say it right, okay? Is it good, Fine. Good your, Give it to me. Good. Crucify me. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's read this other comment. And yeah, Darko was saying, this is getting too nutty. Satya is saying, um, Singh is like a lone wolf. No one can do anything to him. He's horrible, by the way. Well, I'm glad we at least agree on that. But like, okay, Satya, people in our live chat who are sympathetic to Hindutva ideology, like, if you guys think that this is so horrible, like, why is, I don't know, where is the push to, for change? For something that actually is, like, this, this it, the kind of ideology that would imbue these views into people is not something that is life-giving. Yeah, I mean, yes, he was suspended from the party, but he wasn't suspended. So you could say, oh, well, there's the change. But he wasn't suspended from the party from what he wants to do to people. It's for saving face, for saving trade agreements. That's yes, not you're right. Life giving. No, no, that's a very good point, guys. The reason we, why BGP is doing this is because there are a lot of Islamic countries that will be coming down on India, and they don't want to lose these trade relationships with them. So, it's, yeah, you're right. Actually, that's a very good point because that's what happened last time by Sharma. Anyways, let's go through these uh, comments fast. People be saying he said that the BJP is cowardly and he doesn't care about the party, only ideology. Yeah, he's like. Try he's left the BJP many times because they're not hardcore enough, and he comes back every time. I don't know. Um, no, is Oxymoron is saying no, Nupur Sharma wasn't a bigot at all, it was a reactionary emotional outburst against classic leftist Islamist denial. The BJP man is actually a bigot. What I just said was that the whole incident that she her whole life is now changed over is not an example of her bigotry. I think there is other things in her history that point to that, but not that example. So like in this one point, we're in agreement. Um, 
uh, Beep Boop is saying the BJP has really extreme members at the lower levels. They take them because they make BJP win big elections. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Satya agrees that Raja is truly a bigot. And here. <laughs> <laughs> Indians trying to explain to me how to pronounce their language like I'm five. Okay, let's give this a shot. Gu Jarat. Isn't that Gujarat. what I say? You said you said ju Jarat or something. You say you you say the instead of saying g, you say j. You start with j. You start with the j Gu sound. Jarat. Gu Jarat. Yes, that's right. And now I'm, I'm like gaslighting myself. Is that not what I say? <laughs> Okay, okay, here's the comment regarding the video. Oh, Satya is saying that Raja Singh said that Munwar's 52 year old lord was a, uh, for the sake of YouTube, I'm going to use the term uh, child lover. Yes. Um, okay, I mean, if I don't even know how much Munwar Faruqi actually is a believer because he like cracks jokes at Islam all the time. But he comes from a Muslim background. Yeah. Either way, that's technically not wrong. Um, <laughs> Trolls the saying, Susanna, you're in Europe now. Get ready to mispronounce most things around you. I am yes. going to be massacring every single language I encounter, and I'm going to be <laughs> pissing people off as a typical American. So <laughs> crucify me, okay? It's cross right, last there. comment. Last comment before we go um, to the next one. Shakespeare is saying they are also doing this because that will be the final trigger point for Muslims to go violent and not vote for BJP. Wait, I'm, I'm not um, sure if I understand the point of that. No, I, I don't. I think he's he's saying the fear is from Muslims within India, but I don't think so. I think the main fear is from uh, Islam, other Islamic countries that are very important, that have important relationships with India. I think that's the major. I mean, based on what happened with Nupur Sharma and the consequences that they had to pay, I think they learned a lesson I think that's what they're afraid of. Like, I think that would be the best guess. Okay. It's so funny to see them. Yeah, like the fact that the BJP is like towering over this thing is like needs to be unpacked on so many different levels. It's fascinating. And also the fact that, I mean, we talk about this so many times, like the, this is what the Muslim community is more concerned about over the systematic brutalization of Muslim citizens in India. So maybe I'm wrong because Sheikh B, Sheikh B is saying BJP has a huge Muslim voter base. So it might that also it might depends on the out. area. Yeah, but again, it might be it might that might also play into it for why they don't allow anti-Islamic comments from their from some of the politicians. So again, it, this also shows how bad the priorities of Muslims are. Many Muslims are okay? facts. Yeah, we because, should also hold them accountable too. <laughs> Yeah, no, because you know that you're freeing Muslims, okay, when you, because you're not worried about the Muslim reaction when you threaten them with death, okay? Because Muslims, apparently, mo many Muslims seem not to care much about other Muslims, okay? It's, you know, you're going to get a reaction out of them when you insult their prophet. So Muslims care about insulting the prophet, many Muslims again, over their fellow Muslims. And... Given, you know, and this is how they're being harmed because if their sensitivities were in the right place, the, G, the BJP would be worried about not, you know, will be policing itself over not threatening other people's lives rather than having to police itself over insulting their religion. This is why getting the sensitivities right in the right place is so important because the politicians will have to bend over to, for the voter base in the right place if your sensitiv sensitivities are prioritized correctly. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there was one final thing I want to say. Okay, so when there was like huge protests by Muslims over um, what Raja Singh said, they were burning effigies of him. Just for, I just like not cool. Just not cool, okay? Yeah. Let's not do that. That also feeds yeah. the narrative on the opposite side. Even yeah. though this guy is a horrific person genuinely yeah. let's not burn effigies of people okay it seems yeah. a little bit threatening atheist republic needs your help 
We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.